literature and anti-government activities. An Otto Warrenby spent 17 months in captivity after being convicted of stealing a propaganda poster from his hotel. The U.S. believes Warrenby was tortured. He died in 2017, shortly after he was flown back to the U.S. in a coma. And Charles Jenkins deserted his military post in 1965 and crossed the Korean border. He was dishonorably discharged from the military. He also died in 2017. All right, let's lighten up the mood now. The Valley is home to many boxers who have gone on to do incredible work in the ring. And Daniel's here with our invite to one very special event that will have all of us even more excited about the sport. And of course, cheering, cheering those boxers on. I know. I don't know if I can keep the mood too light, Daisy. It's going to be a good fight. Okay. Let's... I don't know if they box like that, though. <laughs> I don't know how they box. I have no clue. I think there's a little bit more skill and uh, oh, finesse. Yeah, but it'll be light, a light mood for us who are going to be watching, okay? For sure. Yeah. And everyone else, too, who's going to attend this event, okay? It's happening. Uh, of course, for our Rio Grande Valley community, they're all really pumped about an upcoming fight that's going to feature our very own Roberto Garcia. Now, it's all going down at the Hayes Event Center in Mercedes. It's happening this Saturday, and it's anticipated to really draw in a pretty good turnout. Uh, La Amen as Roberto is often referred to, is going to be putting on the main source of entertainment that night, but there will also be plenty to witness there, live and in person, if you do decide to head on out. Now, the co-main event will feature Jose El Mudo Tamez, and he's going to be fighting for the Texas Bantaweight Whittle and Nelson Hot Hands. Now, Hampton's going to be fighting for the United States ABF lightweight title, among so many others that are going to be there on the lineup. And organizers even have the Fantastic Four on the undercard, representing the city of West. Westlico. Plus, names like Jimmy Delgadillo, Ruben Urquiza, Marcelo Reyes, and Enrique Lara Bas are all going to be in the mix. And from our very own city in Harlingen, you can catch Rafael Murphy alongside Brownsville's own Emilio Quiroz. So definitely a lot of big valley names are going to be on site for sure. Now, it's all being hosted by Marines Promotions, brought on uh, in partnership by Flight Next Generation of Light Beer. And this is a world championship match. So if you attend, that means you're going to be catching history in the making, but right here in our RGV home. So if that sounds like something that you'd like to be a part of, especially since it means supporting our talented 956 boxing community, then all you have to do is note the address. It's going to be there on your screen so you know where to go on Saturday. And if you do uh, want more info, you can text that number there as well or even visit allevents.inmercedes.com. You know, it should be a pretty action-packed night, like I said, and we do hope to see you out there. Guys, I've actually interviewed Roberto uh, several times, and he's really, really humble, and he works hard at what he does, and you should see him in the gym. So if that's how hard he trains in the gym, I don't, want, I don't know what to expect in the actual ring. <laughs> I mean, yeah, these are very dedicated athletes. They put in the work mm -hmm. day in and day out, and yeah. they take care of their their health, their mental health, their physical health, their diet. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just so much that goes into boxing, you know? It's, it's not just like, oh, let me get up there and let me go street fight. No, 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 it's a lot of skill and effort. Yeah, not like I was doing earlier. Mom right. said knock you out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd say it's one of those things, you know, boxing's pretty huge here in the Valley and it's yeah. one mm -hmm. thing to look at to look forward to. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And it's a family friendly event. It's cool to get the kids excited about sports and talent here in the valley. I but it must be so hard for the family to be like, oh no, I don't want to ah. see him get hit. <laughs> but hey, you know, that's what they're in there for and mm -hmm. hopefully good luck to all of them. Yeah, we're gonna be cheering them on. For sure. <laughs> all right, and another good indoors event. It's gonna be heated in the ring, but all of those surrounding it will, you know, be cool and comfortable while they watch. True, <laughs> I agree. Definitely uh, those indoor activities great.